All right, in our past tutorials, what we've looked at is how to make selections using our rectangular, our key tool, our polygonal lasso tool, our magic wand tool, the quick selection, and then also by using select color range. So um, hopefully you're becoming more comfortable with those. And as, as we've looked at in, in past videos, how to combine some of those tools to get the selection that you want. Um, in this tutorial what we're going to look at is not only making selections, we're going to continue practicing that, but also how to manipulate layers, how to create more, how to make copies, and how to switch them from one file to another. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and make a selection out of this grasshopper. Now I've noticed I've already made a duplicate copy of my grasshopper here and what I'm going to do is again just make a general selection with my quick selection tool and then use a combination of other tools to get more detailed for example you can use the magic wand to get the antennas notice my settings on all these are add to selection that way I'm not starting a whole new selection every time I start to use a new tool. The other thing you want to keep in mind, you can minimize or uh, make your, your brush on the, on the tool smaller. That will help. Sometimes you might get a little extra and you have to subtract from it. So go ahead, work your way around here, and um, and take your time. And when I come back, we'll we'll show you some more. Okay, so here's my selection with my my grasshopper here. Again, a lot of times, especially down here, you're gonna have to zoom in, get really detailed with it the better your selection is the better your projects gonna be and generally that goes into time the more time you put into it the more so the better it's gonna look um, so we're gonna head go ahead and move this guy into another layer and so I'm just gonna go to my layer menu new layer via copy check out my selection not bad. Uh, <clears throat> from here, we, we're going to look at how to copy layers. Right now, you, we don't know it because we, we've just been looking at how to change the color of a layer. But we have this grasshopper here. There's also a grasshopper still on that layer too, though. So if we go to layer 1 and move, there is another grasshopper there. And maybe we'll, we'll just put them there and rotate. Make sure that you apply the transformation either by double clicking it or clicking on the black arrow. Make sure that you can see your transform controls so that check box has to be there. Now there's two ways to copy a layer. One, by clicking it on it in the layer panel, dragging it down here, and letting go to make a, a copy. So it, as we're copy after it, then we can move, and we see that it made a second grasshopper. So that's one way. The other way, make sure you're using the move tool hold down the alt button look at your cursor turn black and white there's two arrows there click and drag and it made a copy of that layer it also made it down here in your layers panel so you'll be able to see it double click and there you go Alright, 
Um, one other quick thing I want to mention is I'm going to load this layer back up. We can save selections. So if I ever had to go back and, and reuse this selection, because hopefully you're catching on to the point that this making a selection can be very complex and very time consuming, you can go to the select menu and save selection. Save it as whatever you want to call it. Click OK. If I were to deselect it and maybe go on to a couple steps, do something different, I can always go back to the select menu, load selection, and then find my grasshopper. In the channel, there will be a drop down box here of all the selections you have, and it'll load it right back up. So there we go, we have our family of grasshoppers. Next, what I want to show you is how to move one of these files into another file. So by that, um, we're going to open up another file. So I'm going to do file, open. I have this mountain that I want to want to view. And the key to placing um, an object from one file into another is being able to see them both at the same time. So we're going to use the restore down button in the top right of your screen. Now the, the top row of the minimize, restore, and, and close symbols are control Photoshop. The second row, the row below that, controls the actual file. So my, my mountain file loaded here, and I'm going to use the restore down. Restore down allows me to see all the files that I currently have open. If I have anything minimized, it'll be down here and they'll start stacking them up. But what I want to do is bring in a grasshopper, put it on the mountain to make them look like a giant grasshopper. So I need to have that file in front. I can do that just by clicking on it. I'm going to take one of these grasshoppers and just click and drag. You can see the layer is transparent there. That means I'm going to place it on it. And I let go, and there he is. So now I can maximize this window and position my grasshopper on top of the mountain. And there we go. So that's how we can manipulate layers, we can make copies, we can transfer them onto different files.